Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our Great Engine opening series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and this is the second part of the video on the Dragon's stunning idea 5 Queen D2 in the perk Piet's Austrian attack. I do apologize, keep on getting it wrong. Um, yeah, in the previous video we had a look at uh, the, the ideas behind the move and also um, uh, looked at the um, the, the natural human responses to it. So a human player, um, you know, a, a, a Piet's player or, um, um, you know, a, a strong grandmaster or whatever, you know, how would they react naturally to um, uh, this sort of idea? And uh, yeah, I, to be honest, I think uh, this move is incredibly convincing against uh, all of those. That's why it's uh, what makes it so strong. Um, however, um, the engines uh, uh, are always creative, always come up with stuff, and uh, well, the engine uh, response to it is uh, is quite amazing, actually. So um, uh, let's have a look at it. Um, we'll just take you through the opening moves, just to show it all. E4, D6, D4, Knight F6, Knight C3, G6, F4, Bishop G7, Queen D2. I mean, the nice thing about this idea too is that it's, you know, yeah. I mean, it's very hard for Black to avoid if you're a um, if you're a, a Pierce player. You're going to play the first four moves pretty much automatically. Yeah, then here it comes, queen d2. So the engines uh, want to play castles. They do various move orders, but um, yeah, this is the, the main move order. Knight f3, and then the move c5. c5, okay, but d takes c5. Wasn't queen d2 supposed to stop c5? D takes c5, we saw, oops, sorry, how strong... Uh, this was for um, for white, and we also saw that uh, well, the normal counterplay with queen a5 has no point because the queen is uh, is blocking this knight takes e4 tactic by not allowing a pin on the uh, knight on c3. But yeah, what the engines want to do here is to play the move knight bd7. Yeah, <laughs> c takes d6 and e takes d6. So. Yeah, you know, what What did I think when I first saw it? Well, when I first saw it, the, the, the thing that I thought of, uh, first of all, was uh, actually something from the TCC Super Final. Um, and, um, yeah, you know, I used to do the, um, uh, used to assist in doing the opening books for the uh, the TCC Super Finals. Um, and one of the opening books um, uh, for which I was, uh, uh, open lines, which I was very heavily criticised, um, that's how it goes at the TCC, um, was um, was this one. So um, I gave this opening book, D takes C5, Queen A5 check. I think I stopped it with the Queen A5 check here. And, um, you know, White plays C3, and then, um, well, the, the main line is to, to take on C5. This is also a line I've played a lot as black myself. And, uh, yeah, very sharp, very interesting, and, uh, yeah, I thought it would be a, a lovely challenge for the engines. But the engines came up with uh, uh, the, the move Knight F6, which uh, I will frankly confess had never, ever even occurred to me. And after b4, queen c7, bishop d3, they played the move d5. And after takes, they took there. And, um, well, I think you'll, you'll, you'll get why this was my, my first thought. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, ev you know, the engines just drew this with black, uh, with quantum at ease. So uh, everyone was sort of saying to me, oh, well, you know, this was obviously drawn. Yeah, but I mean, come on, you know, look at this position. Black's a pawn down, wasted time with a queen on a5 to c7. It's got an isolated d pawn as well. White's position is, you know, okay, b4 is a little bit weakening, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, c3 pawn, what are you going to do? You're going to take, you're going to take this with, uh, with a dark square bishop? Of course you're not. You know, so, um, uh, yeah, I mean, to me, this this still looks, you know, completely unbelievable that, uh, you know, the black should should expect to make um, um, a draw in this position. But, you know, Leela and Stockfish certainly did. Um, so that was really, you know, the, the, the game that, that suddenly, you know, dropped into my mind when I when I saw it. I'm probably the only <laughs> the only grandmaster who uh, who would uh, who would have that uh, that uh, reference frame, uh, you know, uh, I think. Um um, but still, you know, this looks kind of outrageous again because, you know, wise position, OK, you've got a queen on d2, but, you know, development is not so bad. I mean, you're you're pretty close to uh, to castling. Um, you know, this pawn's hanging as well. You know, surely, you know, white should be like clearly better. I mean, I can understand that you've got some counterplay, but for the engines, this was, uh, you know, yeah, good. We're good. So, um, well, let's have a look at the lines because they're they're fascinating simply. So queen d6 is the first line that you want, and then rook e8. 
and uh, the the key point to that is a um, is a uh, a little uh, tactical um, point, uh, namely that uh, that e5, which is the move you absolutely want to make, uh, is met by knight takes e5, and if fe, we've got queen takes d6, bin, and uh, black is just winning. So you can get away with it. You can go queen d8, knight f3, check king f2, but after you go rook d8. You got bishop f5 after hitting the pawn on c2. If anyone's going to be better, it's going to be black there. So e5, the move that your hand would reach out to play in blitz. Um, no, that's not uh, going to work there. Uh, knight g5. Sorry, knight g5 was one move that I came up with. Um, I was sort of thinking after h6, we can go knight takes f7. Look at that one. King f7, bishop c4 check. But um, in fact... Uh, uh, yeah, black can interpose knight takes e4 here. And, uh, well, you'll see the lines in the PGN, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, as you would expect, really, in this position with white's king in the center. This is uh, very, very bad. Um, queen d3 was another move I was thinking of, because, um, after all, you know, if knight c5, then we just take on d8, which would be uh, really good. Um, and actually, um, uh, yeah, you know, black has to be surprisingly accurate here. Um, so, you know, again, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, all of these lines, the engines are making this all hang together beautifully. Um, I do have to say that uh, um, if the uh, if your opponent is black only knows the first couple of moves of uh, this line, then might get into trouble anyway. Um, so after queen b6, bishop b3, queen b2, rook b1, very important for black to keep on going because queen a3, e5 now is quite unpleasant for uh, for black this is quite nice for uh, for white you know very solid center there and uh, development not so bad and queen is uh, is exposed as well but black's got this move knight takes e4 um obviously knight e4 there's queen b1 check so um we go rook b2 bishop c3 check king d1 bishop b2 queen b3 and uh, um, and now there's a, a draw by repetition with king d2, knight e4, king d1. Um, so uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I would suggest this as a as a draw that uh, Nepo and Dubov could make, right? Rather than uh, <laughs> rather than their knight uh, rather than their knight uh, uh, tour. But um, uh, that's very interesting. But uh, yeah, queen d3, not not totally obvious. Bishop c4 also looks uh, very aggressive you know again uh, hitting uh, f7 here but um yeah i mean the uh, the engines just want to play b5 very standard reaction uh, in these lines b5 give away the pawn uh, bishop b3 and then we go knight e4 again and this is pretty you know pretty dangerous again uh, takes we take we go bishop f8 we go queen b6 check rook e7 threatening knight f6 to h5 um there's another um uh, drawing line here takes takes Queen a8, knight f6. White king looks really in trouble here, but queen c8, knight e4 check is um, is a draw called by repetition according to the engines. But again, you know, white's really, really, really suffering here. Uh, the thing that really shocked me actually was um, I was thinking, well, you know, couldn't we just go bishop d3? I mean, maybe black can get a pawn back somehow, but this is not going to be that bad, is it? But the engines are just going for it. Bishop f8, queen d4, bishop c5. Queen a4, b5, and we go third pawn. Who cares? Um, but yeah, it's, it's getting quite uh, quite tricky now. White king can't castle, of course, because the bishop's on there. And uh, we just keep on going here. Bishop a8, queen e8. And uh, yeah, huge initiative for uh, for black. Take a look at the whole uh, the whole line. It's quite funny, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is just really powerful initiative for black. So, yeah, I mean, uh, the best line that the engines find is rookie eight. Is 90, uh, after rookie eight is 95, sorry. But, um, but we go bishop f8, queen d3, queen c7. Knight d7 is not um, uh, going well for, um, for, uh, for white. Uh, you can have a look in the PGN. This is the best line that the engines come up with. But, uh, yeah, obviously, this is just going to be a draw there. So, um, yeah, as always, White has a way to uh, to get out of things, but, um, yeah, not uh, not very convincing at all. Bishop d3 was my sensible idea, but, yeah, the engines just uh, just say, well, we just carry on, don't we? Rook e8, queen b6, 
bishop d7 and the bishop comes to c6 and attack e4 and uh, yeah you know i mean white can't keep the pawn d4 has to go e5 but then the center gets opened and uh, you know blacks blacks doing great simply you know no problems at all so um so that's yeah that's kind of key and um yeah the, the line that the engines liked the most was to play the move uh, bishop c4 and uh, well, there's there's a couple of ideas. B5 um, was uh, one idea. Bishop B5, Queen B6. Um, yeah, the engine's uh, main line is to go A4, Rook E8, and then Queen F2. I mean, your uh, your two pawns up after all, so uh, you know you're just looking to exchange off queens. But there's this um, this way of playing. We can go. Uh, we can do this. Bishop check takes and A B castles and knight c3 and uh, this is about equal for um for uh, for black um uh, the best move bishop a3 and then knight b5 takes knight c5 so yeah you know black can uh, reach equality like that but um yeah not um not not 100 percent uh, easy rook e8 was uh, was leela's favorite and uh, this gets quite aggressive knight g5 hitting f7 combining there d5 takes takes and bishop takes c3 check and queen f6 you can see what i mean when i say that uh, you know with all of these lines if black just knows oh i should go c5 and knight bd7 against this it's hardly guaranteed that you'd uh, be able to work out um, you know how to carry on really and uh, yeah i like this line very much for white bishop b3 looking for stuff like bishop d4 or e5 h6 and then h4 from uh, from white the idea being that takes we take there yeah, queen c3, king f2 is just too dangerous. We're going bishop d4 and rook h8. And queen e6, bishop d4, f6 is also pretty dangerous. I mean, we know we're going to take off. We're going to come on the h-file. Huge compensation for the piece there. So, um, yeah, again, the engine way to, to reach equality is far from obvious. Uh, queen e7, castles, knight f6, queen d6, and then bishop g4. Yeah, hitting the rook on d1, just getting the black pieces developed. We go bishop c5, takes, takes hitting the knight on f6 there and then knight e4 knight e4 rook e4 and yeah we're we're about uh we're about there for the draw you know white to pawn up but obviously not a not a great one really so black should make a, a comfortable draw here but yeah you know i mean um um already the you know the initial idea is uh is quite tricky you know c5 and knight bd7 and uh yeah you know just uh um um, the yeah the things that black has you know not against bishop d3 that's quite obvious but against queen d6 and against bishop c4 far from obvious so yeah and if black knows it really really well then uh, i think you're going to do a lot of damage with uh, with white even if uh, the black players are prepared there's also one other sneaky thing that dragon pointed out is that you could play the move um bishop e2 in this position rather than knight f3 which uh, again if you're uh, if you suspect your opponent might be booked against it then bishop e2 is quite interesting um i mean it's not uh, the bishop might want to go to d3 in other lines but um the idea is that after c5 takes knight bd7 here you can just take take and go queen takes d6 because after rook e8 we just go e5 and of course with the bishop on e2 rather than the knight on f3 yeah this doesn't work we just uh, well we take off or we take off no problem at all Funnily enough, the uh, engine uh, reply to that is knight a6. So you've played bishop, e, bishop b2, so bishop a6 would actually cost you a tempo, you know, and, uh, well, that would give, you know, white a lot of, uh, um, you know, uh, black a lot of freedom here. Um, so knight a6 is the, um, is the best reply to that. But I think I've got some games in the, uh, in the PGM there. So, um, again, you know, quite, uh, quite interesting and, uh, and quite amazing how uh, the engines come up with all this stuff. But there we are. That was the um, uh, the best engine line against this stunning idea, Queen D2. Uh, unknown idea in the uh, Piet's Austrian attack. Um, well, I hope you can make use of uh, Queen D2. And uh, if you're a black player, I hope you can uh, make use of this analysis too. Uh, do check out the PGN's um, uh, location in the comments. And also my blog entry, which uh, just summarizes this, but in text. So, you know, that might be quite useful just to... Uh, to uh, to bookmark for yourselves just to um uh just to have that uh, you know on on paper in one uh, in one overview 
Um, yeah, and the PGNs, as I said, the, the last PGN that I'm putting together, it's uh, putting everything, all the engine games I ran in all sorts of uh, different crazy lines. And uh, yeah, well, just enjoy that. It's run on very strong hardware uh, at pretty decent time controls. So uh, should be a nice body of, um, of experience, you know, to, uh, to supplement your, um, your knowledge here. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give a like, subscribe, tell your friends, take a look at my new books. Uh, Silicon Road to Chess Improvement and Re-Engineering the Chess Classics, which I think are really, really good, full of stuff like this. And uh, otherwise, you know, thanks very much for watching and keep your eyes peeled for more videos and more blog entries. Thanks for watching.